Yo, King of Lightning might have been right. They might have to make Oda president of Japan after this arc because chapter 1045 of One Piece is here. I know if you've been on YouTube at all in the past like week or so, Luffy's new form probably has you confused as f but don't worry because I'm here. I got you. I, I, I got you. I got you. <clears throat> Joy Boy has returned as Luffy's awakening during the battle with Kaido has reached a tipping point. After Kaido's last attack, Luffy got put on his ass with Kaido announcing that the straw hat was dead. Luffy, however, would undergo something game changing as he resurfaced in a completely different form this time. Even Kaido would be shocked to see Luffy survive and in this form of all things. The one thing he wanted most and that the world government was trying to get their hands on, Luffy had obtained. Luffy's fruit for so many years had been declared a paramecia as everyone, especially us, were under the impression that his abilities stemmed from and were limited to the properties of rubber, but this chapter is showing some really wild stuff from him. Don't forget to leave a like on the video before we hop in or I might just have to pull up and give your mama some flowers on Mother's Day. Respectfully, your dad too. So chapter 1045 starts off with Kaido being extremely winded from that case of the beast that Luffy returned to him express overnight delivery but Luffy agrees with him. This is when Kaido begins to realize that the rubber is starting to affect the area surrounding them. It should be safe to assume that this is the awakening of a paramecia fruit but something's off here. That kind of transformation should be exclusive to Zoans he exclaims. Kaido, enraged now, tries to take a bite out of Luffy who gets caught between the dragon's teeth. Luffy travels down Kaido's digestive system causing all sorts of mayhem from the inside out. Balloon Luffy yells out as Kaido's mate section begins to swell with Luffy seemingly inflating himself like a balloon now. Kaido curses him as the others continue to watch on at this loony display Luffy is putting on right now. Yamato asks what's happening right now as it's kind of hard to see so high up in the sky but Momo doesn't have the slightest clue either. Kaido just kinda inflated. Damn it Kaido repeats. What's going on? My body isn't rubber he says as something really interesting is confirmed right here as well as it seems that Luffy is able to turn others into rubber from what we're seeing he's able to do to Kaido. Ah, there go the lights, Luffy says as he just makes a mockery of Kaido, changing his limbs to rubber and making a fool out of him in front of the entire battlefield. Luffy then uses his gum gum escape rocket, blowing a huge gust of wind hard enough to force Kaido to throw him up, sending him spiraling into the air. Luffy's next gum gum attack gets even more hilarious however as Momo and Yamato are only able to hear his voice, but when he reappears. Luffy is in the form of a giant, even bigger than Kaido somehow. As Kaido has had enough of Luffy's antics though. Because when Luffy attempts his gum gum jump rope, completely surrounding Kaido, Kaido's blast breath makes a direct hit and singes Luffy, sending him falling out of the sky burnt to a crisp. Oh no, that blast breath was a direct hit, Yamato says as they cheer on from the sidelines. Unforgivable, Luffy calls out as he charges at Kaido, about to punch him up some more, but Kaido counters with a swing of his mighty club and firmly introduces Luffy's head to the ground again. The Looney Tunes antics are far from over though, now that we know that the true limits of Luffy's power lie solely in his own imagination. Luffy and Oda just kinda got everybody looking goofy in this chapter, but I, I do love the tone of this battle right now, I will say. It's obviously a fight with very high stakes involved, but the lightheartedness even being able to be written in so well is impressive. Even Kaido admits that this shit Luffy got going on right now is like straight out of a picture book or something. That was an interesting show you just put on. But is that it? If that's your limit, you can't possibly defeat me, Kaido says. Shut up, Luffy says, admittedly looking increasingly fatigued though. Luffy returns to his base form and, and then looks weaker and then looks even weaker again as it seems that this form really did train him. Kaido comes and sits across from him. Who the hell are you? He asks. Luffy tells him that 
he was just on the edge of death, so this was super draining for him. Just die then, Kaido replies. Rest assured that this battle of you guys shall not be forgotten. I don't care about any of that, Luffy barks back, still trying to regain his breath. If we die, the only thing left is our bones. Luffy gets back to his feet, the true uniqueness of his fruit beginning to shine through again as he takes on that ridiculous form. Wait, that's actually Luffy, Yamato confirms. He looks completely different now with his hair and clothes all white like that. Momo says that his voice is beginning to fade, however, as Luffy returns to continue his battle with Kaido. This isn't the end, isn't that right, Luffy calls out to them. Kaido mocks him, telling him that he's dying as they speak, as Luffy replies asking, does Kaido really think he's scared of something like that? Very well, Kaido says, as Luffy retains that overjoyous attitude. Kaido just straight up teased the back of Luffy's head with his club, but Luffy's power pretty much turned this man into the mask, as we see him just morphing to kind of just whatever he needs to suit him in that situation. I know this is a manga, but this is insane. Like everything Luffy is doing right now is, is wild stuff. Luffy running around with the imprint of a spike club as a head is pretty damn funny too. Kaido is still just swinging like an absolute maniac trying to crush Luffy, but Luffy just seems to be built for whatever Kaido has. His hockey control and awakened fruit abilities together right now, they're on a totally different level. He does another spin attack, swinging his arms in a windmill-like motion across the battlefield, pretty much doing what he wants with Kaido. What the hell is going on, Kaido says, still confused. This guy just turns all white, coating himself with armament and conqueror's hockey, bringing changes to the landscape and surrounding areas with his rubber. I've never seen such an unbound battle style. The being capable of bringing me down doesn't exist in this world, though, he roars. Luffy, with his arms still firmly through Kaido's head somehow, Let's him go as even in this battle that will decide so much. He can't help but smile as he admits to Kaido how much fun this has been. 